Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome to Gita and welcome to Eve Talk, your weekly look at the markets in Eve Online. Now, I'm not planning to uh, to make today's Eve Talk too long because I'm actually not feeling 100%. I must have caught uh, a virus or a bug or something at work. And uh, of course, it uh, tends to strike right in the middle of the weekend. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it short, but I should have uh, the energy to at least take a look at the market for this week. So let's sit down and let's go and have a look. Um, in going with, uh, with the previous uh, model from last week, I will start out uh, today with Plexus and then have a look at the minerals. So let's uh, take a look at Plexus here. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, 622 and we can see very fresh orders of, uh, of 12 of them. So that's actually uh, pretty nice. It's probably stabilizing right here. Yeah, prices went up towards 620 quite uh, heavily during the Plex for Good, uh, but it looks right here uh, like it's stabilizing at least a little bit. It's still pulling the 20 day moving average up quite a bit because uh, it's a sudden serious increase in the price uh, where before this it's, it's hovered at around 605 uh, million ISK. This is obviously due to uh, Plex for Good, but it has stabilized quite a bit and you can see um, Demand going as low as 611. Here we have 25 orders and some supply coming online at 622. And uh, then there is some competition right here. Uh, whereas, uh, whereas the demand does, uh, does take some bigger leaps like here, 613, 611, then going down to 607 uh, and 606. So all of this is 622 though. So no reason to think that they're going to go back up. Um, I think they'll they'll slowly start to go down now um, as uh, as the winter expansion gets digested and uh, people start to once again take it a little bit more easy in EVO Online. Uh, of course the Plex for Good Drive is what, uh, what caused this big spike right here which I think if I go and look at the one year chart yeah it's it's an it's another spike here we have the the classical double spike that we see every year around the winter expansion but here we have a, a bit more of them and uh, this is all due to the plex for good drive so uh, nothing out of the ordinary in general but yeah the plex for good is causing current plex prices to hover at around 622 doesn't look like they'll go up too much anymore though let's move on to the minerals and we'll have a look at the tritanium chart which is going back uh, which has been going back down uh, a little bit on the 20 day moving average chart here uh, but you can also see in the last few days it's it started to pick back up again so this is uh, pretty interesting current price 476 something like that yeah 478 471 uh, let's have a quick look here then uh, there is definitely supply coming online so there is competition right here which uh, would indicate that prices could go down on the other hand we also see uh, a lot well, some demand, not that much here actually. Uh, two decent orders at 470 and 471. Uh, a little bit of supply coming online um, at the 478 up to 480 mark. So, yeah, supply is still higher than demand, and uh, this could probably trend down slowly as the actual average prices at which uh, Tritanium get picked up. Uh, it might just uh, go a little bit lower towards 475, 474, etc. Because the demand is just not there at this uh, at this price, which is a little bit surprising. Because um, Tritanium is actually pretty low. I think if I look at the one year chart, yeah, it's actually at a very low point uh, coming from 620 one year ago. So it's a, a little surprising, but don't expect Tritanium prices to go up. Uh, substantially anytime soon there's plenty of supply over here that is preventing that uh, let's see what pyrite has been doing here on the chart also slowly trending downward to sideways movement that's maybe a little bit more sideways uh, than what we saw on uh, on tritanium so that should indicate both on the supply and the demand side yeah we can see here some uh, some pretty fresh orders right here 1140 and some pretty fresh supply coming online as well 1149 1150 something like that hardly any margin uh, so pyrite probably going to continue to move sideways let's move on to mixalon here 
first we'll have a look at the chart this is obviously a sideways moving chart um, the five day moving average is, is has slowly trended up the 20 day moving av average slowly trended down so i do suspect that this will be balanced here as well that's decently fresh supply coming in at 442 443 448 uh, but you also have fresh uh, orders coming in here at uh, 4402, 4401, 4303, 4301, etc. So on both of them, there's a lot of action, which would indicate more sideways movements from Exelon. Next up, Isogen. Uh, yeah, sideways with a slight uh, downward trend here at the end. So I would su suspect more supply than demand here. But no, here you can see there's a lot of fresh demand coming in, 125.33. 27 and 23 uh, which is just above this so this will probably pull back a little bit uh, but on the supply side here fresh 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 as well all of them at 127 so this will probably uh, bounce back up on the chart a little bit but continue to move sideways uh, in the 125 127 price band with just two isk on a 125 isk um, material that is definitely not a lot of margin here either so it's really uh, supply and demand feel quite uh, quite um, balanced and uh, we're seeing a lot of sideways movements with just a little bit of variation but obviously 125 to 127 the, the floor and the bottom um, the floor and the top uh, and the ceiling i should say uh, are both uh, well established with a lot of supply and demand on both sides uh, next up we'll have a look at Noxium, 690 to 699 to 700, that's again not a lot of, of margin. Here we can see that 5-day um, moving average went down a little bit, 20-day moving average still up. So actually if I look at the 1-year chart here, there's a little bit of, of a, a coming back for Noxium, but it looks like it might just stall at current prices, uh, 695. And you can see, geez, my brother is, is making a lot of noise there. Um, that's actually not too recent, neither is this, neither is this. Here is some recent uh, stuff coming in, at, but that's all at them at like 700 ISK. Um, and uh, a lot of uh, demand here though. Yep, a lot more demand here actually. That's, that's pretty interesting. You can see a lot of fresh demand coming in here at 690, 690, uh, 690 and 690. All of this is pretty damn fresh uh, on the supply side though. 701 is where I see the first big ones coming in. So this might just trend up a little bit more. Okay, not what I was expecting, but as you can see, this supply demand analysis does help a lot. There's a lot more fresh demand coming in at 690, whereas the supply is, is uh, slowly drying up. And we, before we see some really big ones, we have to go at 702 um, ISK in price. So I do suspect that uh, actually the Noxium upward trend might continue a little bit in the next few days and weeks. Interesting stuff. Uh, next up, we'll have a look at Zydrine. That looks a lot more like a sideways movement. Let's see if supply and demand is more uh, balanced here. Yeah, look at that. That's hmm. actually there's just a few recent orders here at current price of 730. Uh, a lot of recent demand. In fact, the entire page is pretty much recent demand up to 710. So this could actually go up a little bit. Uh, I suspect here the chart is hovering at the 7720 band, but there is not that much supply coming online until 745, 745. So again here, Zydrine, I do suspect that this might actually go up in the next few weeks. Pretty interesting. Uh, both Zydrine and uh, Noxium showing uh, less supply and a lot of demand. Let's have a look next then at Megasites. If that one is, the chart is showing sideways movement. But is supply and demand in sync here? Actually, yes, here it is. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, recent demand coming in here at 1653. But you're also seeing one, uh, 1678. Uh, both, to, both of these sell orders are pretty recent and pretty large. So there is obviously a 1678 uh ceiling here but there's also a pretty strong floor at 1653 that would indicate more sideways movement maybe up a little bit on the chart but in general don't expect any serious movements um, which you can uh, expect on zydrine and on uh, noxium though because both of those have uh, much higher demand and supply at the moment if that can actually break uh, we could see an upward trend 
um, you know, if, if all the demand could actually chew through these smaller orders, yeah, prices could actually go up. Don't expect that for Megaside because you are seeing a lot of new supply coming online and plenty of demand here as well. So that looks like Megaside is going to move sideways. And then finally, we have more fight. I'm not too familiar with that. Um, but just looking at the orders here, recent, recent, that's when those are actually a little bit older, 7400. But some competition coming in here just below that, 7398, 7399. Um, on the demand side, six days, that's pretty recent, all of this. Uh, so yeah, there's a decent amount of competition here, uh, even up to 7200, uh, almost 75,000 units of Morphite. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, so this will probably move sideways, which it's been doing for quite a bit. Uh, I suspect that this will continue um, Because even here that's still 7020 which is uh, Well, which is a little bit lower on the chart actually so It's just these two very recent um, Buy orders that might create uh, a floor here if, if that gets all of that gets sold though at these prices it might go down a little bit um, because I am definitely seeing more supply here than more demand. So I would suspect more of a sideways movement. I do think uh, supply can pick up pretty quickly in more fight. Um, but if it doesn't, yeah, it could actually go lower. Don't expect higher prices for more fight in the next few days though. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for uh, minerals and plexus. I'm actually getting faster at this pretty good in 12 minutes So what I will do for today, I'll, I'll have a quick look at some of the take one chips that I usually check. Here is the Drake uh, looks to be correcting for from the 45.5 million uh, price point that it reached so i would suspect supply and demand to be a bit more in sync yeah you can actually see it here 49 uh, being asked 45 coming to the market at 44 500 so there is competition in both of these drake probably in for some sideways movement next here is the Milstrom 172 to 179 are these recent orders all of these are all of these are as well actually four here seven here maybe a little oversupply uh, compared to the 172 here uh, but yeah it's definitely clearly moving in the 172 to 178 price ba band on a, a pretty sideways movement which is suspected to continue that's probably due to the uh, to the high sec minerals uh, all of those seem to be moving sideways Maybe up a little bit one week, down a little uh, the next week, but nothing too drastic. And you can see that, um, well, Omen a little bit oversupplied. So that one is probably going down. Yeah, that big order of 220 here is causing some real problems for prices to go up because that's still two day supply and that still needs to be picked up here. Um, whereas the demand is not there. So the Omen is going down, but not not all too drastically just yet i do suspect that the mineral market is helping in that a little bit to stabilize the tech one ships as well uh the rocks here uh we saw a few weeks ago there was a lot of demand for that then it corrected back and here it's more on a sideways movement uh yeah you can pretty much see here one two all of these are pretty small sell orders but we are seeing a bigger one here of 13 that's a little bit older at 184 and here we also see uh, 10 of them at 166 uh, that's decently old i would say a bit more supply than amount here in the rock so it co could continue to go down just a little bit uh, but in general there are on both sides i'm seeing small orders uh, that are competing both in supply and in demand uh, so sideways movement is possible there is though a, a big order here of 13 of them how much is well actually that can be picked up on one day but it's already a little bit old, older at least two and a half days um, which could stop prices from really uh, taking off anytime soon. A uh, quick look at the Talos next. That's no margin whatsoever. Look at that 66, 67 million. That's not a lot of margin. Sideways movement here. Um, a little more supply than demand on the recent order front, but you can see here at 65, 700, two really big orders that are putting a floor on where the Talos can go down. So people are willing to bring the supply here there are two big orders that are uh, sustaining the prices above 65 and uh, that's why we're seeing this uh, this sideways movement at the moment until uh, either of those break you know the demand is not there and and all of this gets filled up then prices might go down down 
uh, or all of this fresh supply gets gets taken up uh, that you know that's a, just a lot of ships and a lot of trades that need to happen bef before anything drastic happens so yeah take one ships most of them just moving sideways still a lot of oversupply in the omen though um take twos i will quickly touch on the guardian look at that uh, these are pretty big sell orders but it's it's not that much i'm seeing like maybe not even a hundred of them uh, on the sell order side that is um, just two days supply and that price is actually looking at 175 so yeah this is obviously someone has done something here in my opinion uh, someone decided to buy all the gardens put them back up for a higher price this is why you're seeing this awesome big margin 138 to 176 you're seeing the prices already spike up um, people don't generally sell their guardians to the buy orders and uh, someone said their supply is low i can take all of that and start a new uh, price point at close to 176 uh, some competition is coming in here obviously but uh, i do suspect this 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 guy with 49 orders uh, he's dictating the market at the moment and so that is going up and this is something that can be done in the tech 2 ship market which is why it's so lucrative for trading so that's actually an awesome uh, an awesome um, uh, example uh, of, of what can happen here you know someone can really manipulate the market if you'd been buying guardians let's have a quick look at maybe a longer chart here if you'd been buying guardians which was pretty risky i have to be honest uh, maybe at some of these low points you know close to 145 uh, that was pretty risky uh, but you would have made a pretty good investment because these spikes, you know, they are possible in tech 2 markets. So pretty interesting. Let's go back to the one month chart. Maybe take another one that was that could have been somewhat interesting uh, on the chart point of view. Here the Nighthawk also going up substantially. Let's have a look here again. Uh, decent amount at 240, but supply only coming online at now at 278 which is even above the entire chart so yeah here the nighthawk is working on a nice spike here as well and as you can see it's known this uh, this this type of movement before and this is why i like to take to market for trades because you really do get these opportunities you know uh, nighthawks being sold at 278 which is like all the way above here on the chart so it looks like it's really working on a nice spike um, let's go back to the one month chart so yeah that's it you know take two ships you have to keep a close eye on them but a lot of trade opportunity there i'll have a quick look at take trees uh but those do still seem to be going down or finally finding a little bit of a floor but it's really hard so i suspect that the oversupply thing is still there here in the tingle a little bit of demand coming in uh pretty recent at 145 uh, but a lot of supply at 148 look at that all of this is 148 so definitely still more supply than demand don't expect this to uh, to go back up anytime soon proteus uh, limited amount of of uh, demand orders as you can see right here supply that's still a good chunk of them uh, and competition well not that much actually i'm seeing some supply drying up here in the proteus so that one could actually make a movement uh, if demand picks up here uh, for some reason um, because no not that much recent supply here just a few orders at one at one for uh, 147 uh, and here just one at 148 500 but that will probably get picked up pretty quickly uh, and the rest of it is, is actually a lot older so uh, yeah the the protease you know just because because both on the demand and supply side and uh, both of them seem to be drying up you could actually see a movement if if either of them all of a sudden uh, if there's a lot of supply coming in or if someone decides yeah we want to make a proteus fleet puts up a big order then uh, prices might actually start to move because of this loki's uh, plenty of supply as you can see right here at the 146 some demand 542 that's not bad but it's it's still uh, a lot lower than than what we're seeing in supply at the moment for loki's and then the legion here look at that 136 legions for 146 500 Don, so don't expect the price of the legion to go back up above that anytime soon uh, that's enough for almost four days four to five days of legion uh, normal day trade 
and the demand there is some but it's just not that much these are just people uh, i think that buy one or two legions for personal use just because they are so low at the moment so yeah still more oversupply in general in the tech tree market um what's up next I'll, I'll have a quick look at the fuels but i suspect that this is look at that a lot of big orders on both sides uh, 13 to 14k 16k here again that all looks pretty much in sync and so this is all moving uh, sideways amar fuel box went down a little bit but it i mean this is 13.8 to 14.6 here on the chart that's really uh, nothing to write home about this still counts pretty much sideways movement Galente fuel box as well 13.6 to 15.2 you can see there is supply and amount on both sides and i mean matar here same thing don't expect any big movements here unless ccp comes out with something drastic uh, to pass fuels we are now at the 20 minute mark i'll touch on the marauders a little bit surprised uh, a little bit curious as to what those are doing to me that looks sideways uh chronos yeah chronos is taking off for instance that could be interesting um supply well actually some supply at almost 1.1 and some demand as well so this is probably a bit of a spike people took opportunities of uh, but now it's already coming um, back into balance on supply and demand side closer to 1.1 uh, billion though so uh, this could start to plateau a little bit higher than what it did uh, right here on the 20 day uh, moving average uh, point so those could start to pick back up but it looks like that one price spike here Supply is already coming back uh, at that new price point. Let's have a quick look at the Paladin chart. Sideways, Varger also sideways to down. So a bit more supply, I guess, than demand here. Um, but uh, nothing too drastic, except for the Kronos. That one did uh, a little bit of a movement in the last few weeks. Uh, anything else I want to check? Yeah, I do want to quickly touch on the Stratios here. Let's have a look at that. 438, so that's pretty much sideways. Yeah, supply and demand coming in sync at the accepted price point, which is like 420 to 440 million. Quite a lot, in my opinion, for a Pirate Faction Cruiser, but that's just the price point uh, that we're having. Uh, I do suspect that this could have some real movements once we know when Odyssey 1.1 comes out, because... As I've said previously, the Nestor is coming then, and I will probably dry up supply of Stratioses. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Uh, you could definitely see uh, some serious movement in the Stratios market once Odyssey 1.1, uh, the release date has been uh, announced. That's it's unfortunate for me, you know. That's just a lot for a Stratios. Um, not sure if I even want to really invest that kind of money in just a cruiser. Uh, but yeah, if, if I make if I make the money, you know, a few good Serpentify outputs, I'll, I'll definitely buy one. Uh, but at the moment, it's not really my priority, although it's what I'm slowly working towards. Um, anything else that I might want to check? Uh, anything in the news? I know that Goon Swarm has been um, has been uh, caught red-handed, uh, trying to put up like a, a staging uh, station somewhere so we might see a zero zero war uh, that could actually uh, increase the demand uh, for minerals quite a bit you know if they start losing titans and super capitals so that's also uh, some news that you might want to keep an eye out if, if you're a miner or a trader um, if we see a zero zero war that could finally uh, increase the demand for minerals substantially if they really feel like they need to replace some uh, capital and super capital fleets uh, that, that could help that way, so keep an eye on that as well. But other than that, it's actually feeling uh, to me like, like EVE Online is, is pretty stable. You know, there's no big surprises coming out at the moment. And this, that is also reflected in most of the market. You know, we have more supply than amount for Take 3, so they are just slowly edging down further and further. Minerals pretty much... Um, pretty much balanced uh, those are moving sideways uh, the plexes as well of course plex for plex for good uh, did a lot for the uptick but now it's already back coming into balance starting to move sideways probably going to start trending down um, after the holidays um, and uh, other than that it's just uh, pretty much business as usual uh, in EVE Online a perfect time in my opinion to relax uh, recharge your batteries uh, make your plans for the next year and stuff like that uh, but uh, yeah 
uh, it's it's not not too much uh, excitement at the moment anyways that's it for this eve talk guys i'm glad i actually managed to get it all in one episode thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time